puppeteer. Let's get to know it. Let's get to love it. I've got it docked right here. If you don't have it docked, go into Window, Panes, find it, and dock it right there. Here's our lovely bald ballerina. She's going to be doing some dance moves for us today in Puppeteer. So let's find out how to do that. First of all, what we're going to do is going to apply some poses. So let's get some dancing poses. Uh, let's start off with this one. That looks like a nice base pose. And in Puppeteer, in edit mode, you just click anywhere and that creates a node. So let's go back and since her right foot is the pivot foot here, let's get another pose that is on her right foot. This one looks nice. Let's go to Puppeteer, create another node just by clicking. And let's find another one that's on her right foot. Make a third node and let's go into preview. And as you click and drag around, you can see that it automatically transitions between these poses and you can get some really beautiful looking movement with this. Back to the starting point. So let's record that. Hit record and it's not going to do anything until you start to drag around. So as you drag around you can see it's making some keyframes. And it's doing it in the same motion and timing as you drag around. So let's go out of record mode and let's take a look at what we recorded. So that looks pretty good. Very easy to get some really fluid looking nice movement. Not only is this great for animation but you can also get some of your own custom poses out of this as well. So in our preview mode let's go and find a new position something like that. That looks pretty good. So what we want to do is go into our content library and in your library let's go ahead and make a new subfolder. I'm going to call this poses. In poses, let's hit plus right here and save this pose preset. And you can call it anything. Let's call this power overwhelming. Make sure it's for Genesis 3. Current frame only. And there you can see it saves it. So let's go ahead and create a new character. So we have our new character right here. Let's go into content library, find where you saved your pose, double click to apply it, and there you go.